Close to Nox already scared the living force of me. And that was rebels?
This must be the clearing where Conover says he saw the eclipse. Bloodstains. It's a good place to start as any. Pretty sure this is where Conover killed that guard. Maybe my focus can tell me if there really was a third person here. I see plenty of tracks from the Karja search party. Not helpful. Broken branches. Was someone up here? <laughs> Faint tracks leading away from barren light. I should be able to follow them with my focus. Let's see where this leads. Maybe Conover wasn't lying after all. Trail. There's too many machines walking around. Maybe I can pick up the tracks once I'm past them. Could shoot it with fire. This will be in my stash when I need it. for later. Blood. A lot of it.
Whoever the runner was, this machine must have slashed him. Should be easy to follow the blood trail with my focus. Bandages. Looks like the runner tried to treat their wounds before they went on. I should be able to follow their tracks. Where did you go off to? this away for later. The trail ends here. Must have climbed up to that cave. With that injury, I'll bet he's on his last legs. This looks like a good place for someone to hide. We don't know Larvik's dead. He hasn't shown at the rendezvous point. So either that fool guard killed him, or he lost his nerve. We'll just have to blast our way through the gates. And then what? Rayad was our only link to Vezra, and now he's dead too. We'll track Vezra if we have to. But first we have to get past Baron Light. Next change of guard we go in fast and loud. Conover was right. 
I have to stop them before they hurt anyone else. The usurper will perish, along with all who followed him. What if Lorovic talked and they know we're coming? What if I stick this knife down your throat? Save it for the heretics. A boss will fight. Send this to my stash.
I'm guessing that's Rayad. Blood trail must have been his. He bled out trying to get here. I was right. Ryad has a focus. Loyal Eclipse. If you're seeing this, it means you've left the Sundom in search of something to follow. Your journey is almost over. Follow the sun beyond the gates of barren light. And bask in the gloom of future conquest. A new empire awaits. I'll have to pay this Vezra a visit and crush his new Eclipse empire before it begins. There's coordinates here, out past barren light. Ryad's mask should be enough to prove Conover's innocence. I better take it back to Baron Light. Sharp as ever. You're back! I know you need to go right on, but... Ah! You didn't forget your tools today. <laughs> hey, um, Aloy? Thanks so much for getting us back to work. Where's ah, Erend? It looks like he's had a few. <laughs> Look alive, soldier. She's back. Aloy! Did you find anything? Eclipse fugitives were camped out on the other side of the forest. And they were getting ready to fight their way through Barren Light. You just helped save a lot of lives. Aloy, you know I believe you. But Nozar? He might not be convinced by your words alone. If he needs proof, show him that. And tell him the man he's got locked up risked his life to expose and eliminate an Eclipse spy. Huh. I guess you are his savior. Congratulations, soldier. You're a free man. I'll have you out of there before sunfall. I'll make sure this gets to Nozar. That's it, then. The end of the Eclipse. Almost. The trespassers you mentioned, the ones who got through Baron Light weeks ago, their leader's dangerous. And he's out there, in the Forbidden West, building up an army. Sun and Shadow, you're going out there to stop him, aren't you? I'm gonna try. I wanna help. I can fight. I know you can. But you've been through a lot. Once you're out of that cell, 
You should enjoy your freedom. You've earned it. Take them out, Savior. Echo hurts worse every minute. Took out all the bristle back. <laughs> allowed past this point. Commander knows our orders. Almost ready to go? and herbs here for sale. Remember, you can still buy at any time. You will wear that well. Be ready.
gentlemen. That's our cue. You taking the edge off? Huh. Well, I mean, I'd ask you to join, but who'd be left to save the world, right? <clears throat> All right, now let me guess. You're in a rush, right? So, uh, whatever you need, ask away. How have things been since I... Uh, your silent departure? <laughs> yeah, not bad. Vanguard's going strong. Helped Avad pick up the pieces after the battle with the Eclipse. And I took a month to bury Ursa in the claim. But when I got back, I got the assignment to babysit Vadis on his way to the embassy. I thought that'd be a cakewalk, so of course things went sideways. You got blindsided. It wasn't your fault. <laughs> Up more of these, maybe I'll believe you. I was, um, wondering if you were able to lay Ursa to rest, like you wanted. Uh, yeah, yeah, we did. Uh, just seeing the crowd that showed up to pay their respects. Half of them owed her a favor, and the other half, the other half owed her their love. In the end, everybody drank. You know, that's the rowdiest funeral since, uh, what, since ever. <laughs> Feels like she would have liked that. Yeah, damn straight. Damn straight. <laughs> she would have put them all under the table. What do you know about the embassy? Oh, yeah, not much. Only that Avad really wants it to happen. He said I'm making peace with these Tanakh. But from what I hear, they're not too big on the whole diplomacy thing. They do most of their talking with blades and arrows. So if you're heading their way, be prepared. Things might get ugly real fast. I'll keep that in mind. What do you know about this place? Well, nothing good. It's where the Karja dragged all the captives they took from the Forbidden West during the Red Raids. Lucky ones became slave labor. The rest were hauled off to the Sun Ring and Meridian. Your sacrifice. You got it. Tanakh made sure to wreck the place before they chased the Karja out of the West. I can't say I blame them. And now Avad's paying the Azram to rebuild it. No matter how much new stone they put up, it'll still be stained in blood. I, um, I better get going. Oh, uh, yeah, don't let me stop you. Just, are you, are you sure about this? Yeah, I'm saving the world. That's, that sounds like a lot for just one. Errand. Yeah, all right. Uh, can't blame me for trying. I, I guess what I'm really trying to say is, if you ever do need me... I know where to find you. Hopefully sober next time. Yeah, don't count on it. Be careful out there, Aloy. Lighten up, Paiv. You've got a thick wall of stone between you and the Tanakh up there. Yes, sir. Why the long face, Mavas? Wish you were heading out there? No, sir. Are you in charge around here? Ah, apologies, no. That would be Commander Nozar. I'm Lawan, his second in command. So, what brings Aloy of the Nora to Baron Light? I'm here for the embassy. I need it to happen so I can head west. And maybe now that Studious Wadis is here, we can finally get things underway. Ah, <laughs> yes, the Sun Priest. Walked in practically kicking and screaming behind his escort. Really seems to like his scrolls. But the embassy remains delayed. Commander Nozar has signaled our readiness, but the Tanakh Marshals have yet to sound their horn. <sighs> All right, fine. Let me through the gates then. I have my own business with them. I'm sure you do. But I'm afraid I can't. Commander's orders. Normally, the gates are open for any who dare to venture out. Asaram salvagers, a few especially brazen Karja, but no one's allowed in or out before an embassy. Now we're open. Once the Tanakh have left. So what happens at these embassies, exactly? Mostly trade and negotiation. 
the Karja offered tribute of food, spices, and gear. In exchange, the Tanoth returned personal effects taken from Karja soldiers that fell during the Red Raids. This particular embassy, however, is a special case. Because the Tanakh, they're handing over some sort of prisoner, right? A soldier named Fashav? Ah, so you've heard. The exchange has got everyone on edge. You never know if an embassy's going to go well until it's practically over. You said something about Tanakh marshals. Who are they? They're the tribe's elite warriors. Before every embassy, they arrive with a contingent of soldiers from each of their three clans. Then, during the proceedings, they negotiate on behalf of their leader. And by negotiate, I mean stare down our sun priest until they concede. Paiv over here came face to face with them for the first time at the last embassy. <laughs> came back drenched in his own sweat. It was hot that day, sir. <laughs> it was indeed. <laughs> Where is this Commander Nozar, then? If he's the one keeping the gates shut, I'll convince him to open them for me. I'll take you to him, but I have to warn you. The Commander isn't one to break protocol, especially when he's already high-strung. We'll see about that. This way. There's a lot of activity going on around here. The Tanakh tore down this place during the Red Raids. Two years of labor, and we still have a long way to go. The work stoppage and change scrape nearly halted our rebuilding efforts. But I hear a certain Nora got them back to work. I was just helping out. Yes, well, I'm sure Alvin was thrilled. Stand aside, soldier. Sir? There's the commander. Better brace yourself. And good luck. Why the Sun King believes we can have peace with these barbarians is beyond me. Agreed. Alas, it is not our place to question his radiance. How are we to hold an embassy with a tribe that can't even govern their own people? What more can you expect from barbarians? <clears throat> ah. Aloy, was it? Yes. The one who cleared the valley for you? That Aloy. <laughs> we appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first shall be... Shut up. Why the delay? The Tanakh are a tribe composed of three clans. How many banners do you see? <sighs> You're just gonna wait? Go find out what's wrong. <sighs> Oh, this isn't some forgotten corner of the East where you come from, Dwarf. It's the Forbidden West. If you don't like it, run back to Meridian, file a complaint. The Meridian I saved, you mean? That's right. Nobody walks to the gate until the Third Clan arrives and the Tanakh horn has sounded. Not even the savior of Meridian. Well, thanks, but I've waited long enough. It's time to go. Absolutely not. This embassy depends on diligent adherence to... You shall not! Keep telling yourself that. Someone approaching! Out of machine! Open the gates, please. Do not let her through that gate! That is a direct order! Sorry, can't do it. Sir, it's the savior! I don't care if it's a devil between themselves! The gate is here, so that's the fourth road! 
I'm asking nicely. Uh, I don't know what to do. Hey, Vara. Hi, Aaron. Uh, what's what happening? I you know the usual. Aloy wants something. People Open try to stand in her way. It's not gonna work. Gates. Oh, that's it. Arrest her. I'd like to see you try. Supporting fire? Yeah, I'm locked and loaded. Hey, Nozar! You stupid bastard! You think you got the authority to keep that door shut in the savior of Meridian's face? What, what do you think Sun King Avad is gonna do when he hears what you did? Promote you, huh? Let it through, boys. Saving the world. Forget something back in Meridian? Look, Burl. It doesn't matter. I made it just in time. So this tribe that Murad told us about, the Tanakh, we need their permission to go west? Yeah, well, I figured it'd be nice if they weren't trying to kill me the whole time. But this embassy hasn't started yet. <laughs> We're just gonna barge in? It's no more politics. No more delays. Oh, well. Now at least you have some backup. I guess I do. We'll see how it goes. Look at them. Okay. Let's... That is the line between East and West. Cross it and die. Hold on now. Let's take it easy. None may walk this valley until our signal sounds. That was our accord with the Karja. I'm not Karja. I came here on my own to ask for rite of passage. But they opened the gate for you, did they not? What is the meaning of this violation? Why send a child? Do they want to parley or not? The Karja can't be trusted. This is no. Forget the Karja. This has nothing to do with them. I need to go west to save lives. Maybe even yours. The only lives you can save are your own. By turning back. Now. Hold! She's telling the truth about one thing. She's not Karja. She's a Nora from the Savage East. And if she seeks to save lives, should we not listen? Let me speak. One last favor for a fellow marshal before he's taken away. A fearless red-headed Nora. You must be the so-called savior of Meridian. Just Aloy. I am unyielding Fashav. Once of the Karja High Command, last of the Army of the Setting Sun. You're Fashav. Avad gave me a message for you. That he waits for you in Meridian, where you belong. Hmm. 
Avar always was polite. Well, now I'm even more curious about you knowing that you have the confidence of the Sun King. But such an association with the Karja could work against you here, as it often has with me. As you can see, tensions are high. This embassy is a delicate affair. They're about to return me to the Sundom, a gesture that might help soothe painful grievances. And now you arrive, unheralded. I'm not here to cause trouble. I just need to go west. So you say. I might be able to help, but I need to know why. Along with some assurance that I won't regret it. I've never seen markings like those on a Karja before. The Karja see ink is decoration. For the Tanakh, it is much more. A litany of deeds. A record of vanquished enemies. Looks like you've vanquished quite a few. I've fought my share of battles. But I feel that my life, like my markings, is only half complete. This side shows my martial deeds. Before I die, I'd like to see the other half marked with the laurels of peace. How did you come to be among the Tanakh? It's quite a story, but not a quick one. Though I suppose neither of us is going anywhere before the embassy begins. Are you sure you want to hear it? I guess we have time. Very well. 